Welcome everyone to another Tracks on Sundays. I'm Tracks and Max, and this is another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, uh, I gave in. I had 93 Void Shards, and I said, screw it. I'm going to get the rest. I watched Smiley TK's uh, evaluation of the packs, and there was one that was kind of decent or something, I guess. Uh, I was debating it for a while, and then I just figured, you know what? I'm going to be pissed off if I you know, miss out on his champion for that reason, like being that close. Also, as I recently said, it was my birthday and I haven't really treated myself with that much actually. So I thought, you know, screw it. Let's get him. Let's get this Supreme Kale dude. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do it during the clan versus clan since that's also still active right now. We are getting our butts kicked though. Unfortunately, um, it is what it is. Drunken Lazy Bogan's doing the best. And then we also have a Eternal Soul Stone that I'm gonna pop right after this, so fingers crossed on that one. But without further ado, let's get to popping some Void Shards. I'll probably do mostly time pops, but I'll mix it up a little bit because otherwise we're gonna be finished really quick. And I mean, this is kind of a big event right here, so. And I will only be doing the 110. Let's see what we can get. Um, there's all kinds of stuff that I could use, but obviously we're going to see a lot of blues, right? We're going to see mostly food for the account, but that's fine. Okay. Hopefully that was a rare tax, but let's see here. Rowan pulled him and pulled her on the free to play account. She's in my vault. My free to play account puts it in the vault. That says enough, I guess. Sky Touch Shaman, very good champion. I do use her on the account. Basher is actually new for me. I do not have a Basher, and that is one of the champions that I was looking for, so that is pretty good. Why? Well, he has this stinging blast attack. Attacks all enemies, increase the cooldown of all targets skills by two turns. This is great in arena. There's a live arena coming up very soon, so I needed a lockout champion like this one. And I did not have one yet, so good stuff. I'm happy with that. All right. Three epics here. Not bad, not bad. Let's see. Um, I'm nowhere near Mercy, I don't think. Uh, last voids I pulled was when I pulled for Shagur and I pulled a Necrid back then, so I uh, don't think I'll be close yet. A Seer, uh, don't have to explain her, but she uh, she's like one of the hardest hitting, or probably the hardest hitting champion in the whole game. I use her all the time for Doom Tower, for clearing waves, uh, the hard Dungeons and Dragon, Dungeons and Dragon, <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons, that's where I use her. No. She just clears, she melts waves if he can s set it up correctly. Um, so, very, very good champion right there. But obviously we, we're looking for gold though, right? I mean, it's it's unlikely that's gonna happen. Akemptum is also very, very good, I've heard. Um, I have not used him yet. I have not watched any videos. I just hear people talking about him and that people want him, so. Um, I'm gonna read this kit real quick. Attacks one enemy three times. Each hit has 40% chance of placing a 5% poison. That goes up to 50. That's actually nuts already. A three hitter with 50%. So you're averaging one and a half poisons on his A1. That's good. That's really good. You can get this up to 55% even if you have the mastery for it. If the target is under a hex debuff, each hit also has 40% chance of applying a debuff spread effect. Taking one random debuff from the target and placing it on all enemies. Interesting. That is actually also kind of nutty because you hit them and let's say your first hit has a poison. If they're under a hex debuff, the next hit you do can actually actually has a chance of spreading that poison onto others, uh, onto other targets. That's pretty cool, actually. Attacks all enemies three times. AoE, nice. Each hit has a 75% chance when booked, in chance of increasing the duration of any hex debuffs on enemies by one turn. 
If enemies are not under a Hex debuff, each hit has a 75% chance of placing... Okay. All enemies three times, and every hit has a 75% chance. It's very unlikely they'll walk out of that without having Hex on them. It's possible, but it's very unlikely. And then this is his passive, I guess? Has a 100% chance when booked of inflicting damage from one poison debuff to enemies under Hex debuff whenever their allies receive, 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 receive damage from poison debuffs. Oh, oh damn. Okay, so you really want Hex on whoever, well, whatever you're fighting, but he does place it himself, so... I, I don't know the math on this, but in my head, that sounds like it could add up to be a lot of damage. <laughs> so, speed battle aura, in all battles, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, cool, very nice. Let's do a, a 10 pop singles. So a couple of good epics already, that's interesting because, um, like Basher, I remember when I wanted Basher, it was for the Skinwalkers faction, I couldn't get it, couldn't get it done. Um, eventually I did, of course, but for the longest time I was just hoping for a Basher. And now actually I wanted him again because of the live arena, and here we are. Finally pulled one. So, I'm just, you know, I'm not gonna name all these champions. You know most of them already. Um, they're rares. I mean, I have all the void rares. Or had, because most of them are food, right? Alright, that was 10. 10 without an epic. Okay. So maybe we should just do the 10 bombs then. Come on. I mean, I like purples too. Purples is nice as well, right? No, come on. You just gave me 10 blues already. No, not another 10 blues. Bro. Okay. Doesn't matter. Fast one. Three epics. And these are like F tier. Like horrendous. They're all gonna be used as chickens. I heard one dude said in my free to play clan that he used Azur in Banner Lords back in the day because he has an ally protection. Okay. I mean, you know, if you're stuck in Banner Lords, okay. What else does he have? can stun extra hit of some blah. No, so it's just basically this. HP aura, yeah, sure, whatever. For us, it doesn't matter. These champions don't matter. Um, that's the second row one, by the way. But that's fine. We need some chickens. We don't have that many chickens anymore on our on our account, so. Also, we got two epics already that we can use, so I'm I'm not complaining. Gambo Pretty good nuker. I've actually yet to build one, like, ever. I don't have any accounts with a, with a Gembo build. So I have to get I have to get to that someday, I guess. But, um, all right, 30 left. So we'll do another slow 10 pop here. Maybe more luck this time. Bulwark says, nope. No luck here, son. You shall not pass Harrier! Get away. Get out of here. Bram. Stitched Beast. I used two of those dudes to finish Undead Faction Wars. Demitha. We all know her for Clan Boss, right? She has the block damage buff on the three turn cooldown. Insanely good. You can buff extend here, so if you have a speed buff, she can extend that to keep the team going very fast. Let's see, more blues. Bellower, very good if you need a stun set on someone, he can carry that very well. Another epic, Urogrim. At a certain point in time, he was busted. He was probably the most busted champion in the whole game. 
Uh, but they nerfed him because he was doing a little too much and he's still good though. He can still solo like Ice Golem and Dragon, I believe. But it's a lot harder now, right? You need some better gear for him to do that. And yeah, for a lot of players, it kind of left a sour taste in their mouth because they had already invested in him. They had put the books in him, right? You know, they were happy, but... He's still good though. I use him. I have mine at like 50. I used him to help clear my faction wars, so he's still really good. I mean, he has poisons, he has heal, he has a speed in all battles 20%, which is also awesome. Very good champion, but. We already had him, we don't need him. Seducer. One of the few rares with an ally protection bulwark. Pretty good in. Clam boss, but again, we're not really looking for rares here. Dilgol. Spider specialists. Okay. 20 more. Can we pull any gold in between there? I mean, I... Again, I pulled a Necrot last time. I'm not expecting anything, really. Um, if it happens, I'll be amazed, but... Um, probably won't happen today. This is the last one, and the last shard will get Warcaster for the unkillable teams. The least exciting one of, of, of the bunch, I'd say. And here's our legendary Supreme Kale. So why is he actually so good? Well, he has... First off, he has three AoEs. All three of these are AoEs. The A1, when booked, 75% chance on all enemies place a weaken. The big boy version, of course, because it's a void legendary, but also this debuff cannot be resisted. That's the huge part about this champion. You're gonna notice that cannot be resisted. This debuff cannot be resisted, which means he does not need accuracy. Which is a huge plus, because that means you can, you know, make him tankier, give him more resistance, you know, give him, or, or make him hit harder even, uh, if that's your, your thing. Because um, I heard that this A2 actually smacks a bit as well, so he might actually be even a, like a decent nuker uh, with all these AoEs going on. His A2, 100% chance, 3 turn cooldown, tax all enemies. 100% chance of placing three poison debuffs. Also increases duration of all enemy debuffs by one turn. So basically he's putting up poisons for three turns and everything that was on the, the enemies already is gonna be extended. That's again, very crazy. Attacks all enemies, places a 50% increased ac accuracy buff on all allies. Well, this doesn't help him, but it'll, it'll, it will help your team, of course. Also has a 75% chance of placing, again, 100% when booked, a 50% decreased resistance debuff on all, on all enemies for two turns, and this debuff cannot be resisted. This is also very huge. Like, you're placing this no matter what. You're gonna increase the accuracy for your team, and you're gonna lower the, the, the resistance of the enemy. So, for instance, I'm not completely sure about the math here, but I think what this means is, let's say normally you needed 400 accuracy to land a debuff. I think that means that this already will lower that to 200 because, well, they only have half the resistance. So I'm assuming you only need half the accuracy would make sense, right? But you're also increasing the accuracy of your squad, right? So if I'm not mistaken, you'd have to do a divide by three and that's the accuracy you'll need. So whatever you needed is already by half and then divide by three times two, I think. Don't quote me on that. I think that's the math. But what that means is you literally just, like for 400 accuracy, you just need like base, accuracy almost like if you have your great hall filled up and just a couple of items have accuracy on them 
you're good to go. You're gonna land your debuffs. That's huge. That also means that like dungeons of where you're gonna need 600 accuracy or 700 accuracy and we're kind of feeling that that may be something that's coming in the future, right? With the hard dungeons being a thing. I think this guy's gonna be a huge player there. Yeah, I just took the precaution now that I had the opportunity. Was it was it the correct thing? I don't know. But we'll see in the future, I guess, right? Uh, also, he has a passive still. Decreases each target's accuracy, crit rate, and crit damage by 3%. For each poison debuff on them. Okay, normally they'll they'll have three, right? Because he puts three on each and every one of them, and cannot be resisted. So you're kind of like upping your. It's it's basically you're taking less damage and you're kind of upping your own resistance in a in a way, right? Yeah. Pretty cool, man. Kale was also my starter. Just. Randomly, I did not know that he had poisons or what poisons did even when I started this game. I just chose him because, because he had dreadlocks and I thought that was pretty cool. I never saw an elf with dreadlocks before, so that's why I picked him. He also looked like a mage and I like I like mages. Uh, rogues and mages are kind of my thing in these kind of games, so I'm not that fighter, barbarian kind of, kind of guy. I'm... I like spell casting and trickery and stuff like that, so. Okay, well, you're gonna do this one right here. Now, I'm gonna check my wish, wish list again because um, it might be a little different these days. I don't think I really want him anymore. I pulled a four star of him last time, so maybe we wanna look into something else for that. I'm just really not sure what though. Like, what could be... Yeah, this is hard, man. I, I'm, I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to be picking here as... Like... Six Star Blessing... Can actually do huge things in Arena, right? So I'm almost thinking Madame, I guess. <laughs> Basher would be cool. Now that I just pull You know what? Yeah, screw it. Let's do Basher. Probably wrong. But I mean what are the odds that I'm gonna pull a Basher? Um Is there anything here I might wanna change? Are we gonna go ham? We're gonna go ham. Let's 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 do some. I can't take out Duchess though, right? They got a whole string. Voila! We pulled these two today, so let's give him a shot. <laughs> All right. Do we still have enough silver? Barely. CBC has been unkind to us. Come on, please be something. This is my first one, by the way. It's a legendary. Is it though? Is it a legendary? Can we can we agree that it's not really a legendary? Okay. We gambled, whatever. Uh I don't even have the champion, as you can see, so Join the rest, brother. I was gonna say good luck to you if you're gonna pull shards, but it's Thursday now when I'm recording this, so you most likely already pulled your shard shards if you did. Supreme Elhane just finished, and we got ourselves Supreme Kale. Two out of four, not too shabby. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Uh, hope you guys have an excellent week, and see you guys next week. Peace. Ooh. Mm -hmm.